Hey everybody, it's John Brackett, Fidelity Business Partner. So hope you're doing well. Hey, so today I am going to share the question of the week. All right, and uh, this question I thought was very good considering I was underwriting a transaction to actually um, uh, deploy capital, right? So we would be the investor in this case um, and also uh, co-general partner. So I, I found this question really relevant considering uh, I just underwrote and uh, was negotiating a deal that we ultimately decided uh, not to pursue for the very reason that this question is going to answer. Okay. And the question is this, is how do you, um, how are you prioritizing what you deploy capital in? Right? So if, if you have a basket of opportunities, say you have, you know, a 20 unit apartment building, a 50 unit apartment building or a hundred unit apartment building. Okay. How are you prioritizing what to deploy that capital into. Okay, so the obvious question is uh, return, right? Whether you want to use an internal rate of return, an average annual return, let's use an internal rate of return because it accounts for time, okay? It accounts for time. So um, this is the situation that I ran into, right? So I was presented with an opportunity to, 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 to venture, to invest um, as a co-general partner, which we look at quite a bit. And, and so one of my questions, and I'm going to, I'm going to con consolidate this. Okay. I'm going to condense this conversation down. So after we looked through the deal, underwrote it, um, you know, we were having a discussion around it. My question is why the 16% internal rate of return? Okay. And so, um, cause you know, we looked at that a little bit differently. Um, and my comment was, you know, you're, you're, you're pricing this for me, the, the investor, okay? And how do you know that that's adequate for me? Because <laughs> I'm deploying all the capital, right? I'm deploying all the capital, just like you would be if you're an investor, right? We, we each have opportunities that we choose to deploy money into, right? So my question was, you're, you're you know, what's going into this assumption that 16% is adequate, right, for me, considering the market that we're in, the risk, okay, a couple other factors, right? And I said, okay, you're, you're basing this off of me deploying 100% of my capital and you have nothing in, in this deal. Now take out my capital and put yours in. How would you now evaluate it <laughs> and, or price it? And there was a long pause, right? And, and we both started to laugh. So, um, you know, the, the, the point there being is one of the things that, that, um, that was not considered, and I see this a lot, is when you don't deploy your own money in deals and you're not spending your own time and energy, you know, usually those returns, they don't adequately reflect energy, right? They reflect time, they reflect um, uh, capital, okay, or the risk associated with that capital, but they don't reflect energy. So when we look at opportunities, or when I do, um, the way that I prioritize the opportunities our return on time, return on energy is a big one. And then finally, return on capital, right? Or time, energy, and capital. And over time, you get really good at quantifying how much energy you need to put into something, um, you know, to make that part of the equation, right? So if I use, if I go back now to that basket of examples, let's make them all 100 unit apartment buildings, right? For the sake of this conversation. And um, for the sake of this guy, actually, no, let's do, let's do the 2050 and hundred. Okay. But say, um, in this case, you know, when we're going through our analysis, okay, it's going to take me for the same return. Uh, it's going to take 12 months. Okay. To get a 16% return for the hundred unit. It's going to take, um, five months for the 50 and it's going to take two months. Okay. Two months for the 20. All right. Um, and roughly speaking, okay, roughly speaking, well, you can't really, like if we use the time analogy, right? We talked about time. Um, we talked about return, right? With the, with a capital, with a capital example or the return example. Okay. Which also accounts for some time if we're using internal rate of return, but now let's talk about energy. Okay. So say the 20 unit okay, is going to generate the same internal rate of return, but I can get to, to that in, in, in 12, in two months, right? Then maybe at that point, right, depending on how much energy I'd have to put in that, um, I can do both deals, right? I can do the 20 and the 50. 
But being that capital is not infinite, and when people tell you it is, <laughs> run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. Uh, you know, capital's not infinite, right? We're not buying vacuum cleaners, right? Buying real estate. And so it's really important to understand how to make decisions around prioritizing money to deploy, okay? So I gave you that as an example, because oftentimes, even in school, okay, uh, for those of you that are finance majors, you don't really talk much about energy, return on energy, right? To prioritize capital. And the reason for that is most of the folks that are having those conversations with you have not put money out into the marketplace, um, their own capital, right? They haven't deployed their own capital. So when your money is not at stake, you're not thinking about the energy associated with that money, right? Yes, your time, <laughs> but ultimately you can't really quantify energy because you're not behind that money driving and creating that return. So, you know, in, in most cases, right, if you're, um, you know, if you look at a Y axis and this, your case, you're looking at me, so be Y and then X, right? So if, if the more time associated with that project, the greater the risk, okay? The more energy associated with that product, project, the greater risk. So your return is gonna be going like this, right? As you go out with, as you go up with time and you go out with energy, your return expectations are gonna go up. Consequently, um, less time, less energy, right? Return expectations go down. But what ultimately we all are trying to do is find that deal or that those opportunities where, you know, a great time return, a great energy return, and ultimately a great, you know, overall return relative to those items, right? Relative to time, energy, and of course, capital being deployed. All right. So, hey guys, John Brackett, Fidelity Business Partners. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you know, and uh, be smart about how you deploy capital, right? John Brackett, talk to you soon.